Hey again, John Selby here with the Selby team and back for our April market update. Well, technically it's our May market update, but it's all the info that we gathered in April where we're at in the real estate market here in San Diego. And man, I'm so glad I'm doing this every single month because our market has been changing so fast. The Federal Reserve, um, all the interest rates, all the information, you know, all the news about the banks, all of that is just having, you know, effects on where we're at in the real estate market, where people's confidence is and, and whatnot. So we are just seeing, you know, uh, just wild changes. Um, I'm, I'm monitoring it weekly, uh, sometimes multiple times a week to kind of get a gauge on where we're at and what we're doing so that we can best advise our clients, uh, both on the buy side and on the sell side. So I'm going to jump into um, what I'm seeing here and our InfoSpark, um, you know, data and show you guys the differences from March to April, um, kind of what I'm thinking, where we're heading and, and what's going on and, and go from there. So uh, the average sale price in San Diego has jumped again. Um, we are seeing about a $29,000 jump in average sale price from March to April. Um, we've seen a steady trend and in increases since February. We saw a slight dip from, uh, from January to February, and then we've just seen it climb the last two months um, you know, consecutively. Same thing with the median. The median's gone up um, you know, pretty steadily all year, um, where we saw you know, this was the biggest jump was February to March. Uh, and then we've just seen another slow, steady incline in, in prices. So um, active listings on the market, uh, and you'll all harp on this a little bit later, but steady trend downward. We saw the peak in July, um, and it's just been a steady, steady trend downward in active listings. Um, same thing with new listings, although we saw a little bit of a jump here um, in, uh, in December to January, we've really seen an overall downward slight trend um, or leveling out in new inventory. So we're not seeing a large, crazy influx of property. Um, and what that means is we are seeing, you know, a decline in overall market time uh, because of that. So that's the average median is also down pretty, um, pretty substantially low in all of San Diego County. The median sale price is, or sorry, median um, days on market are basically two weeks. Um, and that's that's pretty pretty interesting. Um, pending sales, we saw slight uptick, um, and now we're seeing a slight downturn. This is definitely leading to the fact that there's less inventory coming on the market, so thus there's less inventory to sell, so thus there's less um, pending listings. Um, and then number of solds, we saw a little bit of an increase, and now we're seeing a slight decrease in number of solds. Again, I think most of that has to do with the fact that we just don't have enough inventory to, um, you know, for, for the buyers out there in the market. Um, so the the dollar, uh, not the dollar volume, what am I trying to show here? Um, oh, the percent, the percent of list price to close price, again, is still trending upwards. So we are seeing things basically selling for 100% of the, um, the asking price in most situations. Now, obviously there's outliers to that. Um, and there's weird circumstances, but we saw this, um, you know, this big dip where we went, you know, things were selling under asking price on average, and now we're coming back. So what does that mean to me for the San Diego real estate market? Um, it means that basically we are, we're back in a seller's market, um, seller's market to a, to a level market. Again, that's going to be price point dependent, uh, inventory dependent and rate dependent right now. Uh, as the rates go up, some buyers pull out of the market, so homes might sit a little bit longer, things might be a little bit more negotiable, and then rates come down a little bit, buyer influx into the market, um, you know, and the negotiating power of a buyer goes down, houses start to sell over asking price again, you know, so on and so forth. And I'm not joking when I'm telling you quite literally week by week, sometimes even in the same week, some of that will change. Um, this past week is an interesting one because we had the Fed raise the rate again, and I sh I'm sure we'll feel the effects of that next week um, and what that means and what that's, you know, what's happening. And then what news comes from that with regards to First Republic um, getting taken over by Chase, um, you know, and, and how the media feels that, you know, that, that they should spin that. And then what are the consumers thinking from there? Where are they confident? Are they not confident? And so on. Now, 
um, a little bit of like insight, uh, talking to several economists, several lenders, a lot of really smart people, smarter than me. Um, there is a strong belief that we will see a good relief in interest rates, probably by mid summer to late summer. Um, and there's a decent chance that the Fed might lower the rate as well, um, which would obviously drive um, overall rates down as well. Um, all of that's going to be based on inflation numbers that come out. All of it's going to be based on speculation. So we're not going to know for sure, but that is what is being, you know, right now being talked about and, 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 and people are truly feeling like that's a pretty likely um, chance there. So what does that mean for San Diego market? I think right now it's a little touch and go. Make sure you're working with somebody who really, really understands the marketplace and knows how to help you either price your home from a seller standpoint or um, what you should be doing as a buyer. And, um, and what what's coming and when to jump in what's normal what's not normal all those things are huge huge factors and you need to rely on your real estate agent to really um you know help you with with that guidance um and your real estate agent should be watching the market like we are and um and really you know being that expert um so that you're making the best decisions you can you know be making with with the information that you have but we are definitely in one of those markets where it is changing very, very rapidly. There's, I cannot tell you there's, this is exactly how you should act in this time. Um, but when, you know, in the moment, when you're writing an offer, when you're getting ready to list your house, that's when we will, you know, really look at what's happening in the market at that moment and help you make the best choice possible. So hopefully you enjoyed um, this info. I did want to thank anybody who came out to our shredded event last month or so, yeah, last month, which would have been like technically last week. Um, it was a great turnout. We shred a lot of paper. And uh, we really, you know, had a bunch of people who really enjoyed it and thanked us for it. We love that. Um, we're looking at doing a client happy hour sometime in the summertime. We're trying to nail down a date for that. Um, so keep a lookout for that probably in our next newsletter and potentially an email. And um, if you ever need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can call me on my cell phone personally um, or email us back or reach out to somebody on the team. My cell phone is 619-251-0979. Uh, John at Selby Cell San Diego, or you can email team at Selby Cell San Diego um, and get a hold of all of us. And we'd love to help you. We'd love to answer any of your questions and we will see you next time.